Okay, so uh, some of the subscribers have asked for a little bit more information on the bike, so I'll just run you through it. Um, okay, so basically the frame is a Fusion Symmetry, and it's an eBay frame. I paid 420 bucks. It's a dual suspension mountain bike. Uh, I've taken the back wheel off and replaced it with this uh, Crystallite 5404 24 inch wheel from Frankencycle. Thanks, Joe. Um, so, what we've done with that is we've just put a single sprocket on there and I've left the original derailleur because I wanted to use the, the three speed on the front derailleur. Okay, so I've taken the, um, the rear derailleur controls off and left the front one on. As you can see, I've got some hydraulic brakes. Uh, it is a bit of an issue uh, that you don't have the cutoff to the brakes. Uh, I am looking into some sort of, you know, reed switches in the brakes or something like that. So that's something I'll incorporate in the future. Um, you can configure these buttons to uh, as an e-brake so basically uh, you know that'll pull you up pretty quick if there's any issues um, this kit here the controller it's a uh, 4110 um, Infineon control from 3MEV uh, it'll run at around 40 amps which is uh, really way less than this motor can handle but I thought um, you know it's a good start uh, and it's quite small, so so the other controllers, the 18 fit, 24 fit controllers, are a lot bigger. Now, what I have done is fitted this with a, a BMS. So, what does a BMS do? Firstly, uh, let's have a quick look. This BMS is a um, it's a Best Tech unit. Uh, the model is a HCX D166, and it charges up to 84 volts. It's designed for 24, uh, sorry, 20 cells. Okay, uh, it will peak at 80 amps. So I think, um, in terms of the controller and the combination of the BMS, I think we're we're okay in that regard. Okay, batteries. So these are Hobby King batteries. They're they're hard case Zippy 5S. Uh, sorry, 4S 5000 milliamp batteries. So I've got six strapped together on the bottom, and I've got four on top. Okay. So what I have done is I've, I've wired these, sort of the left bank if you like, in series and I've wired the right bank in series and I've connected the two together. So basically running um, 10 cells but really five, 5 battery packs and 5 battery packs which will give me, um, which will give me 10 amp hours. So that's, that's quite enough for the distances I want to do. Uh, so it's 10 amp hours at 84 volts maximum. Okay, what I've done is I've also fitted this little panel meter. Uh, the panel meter will go up to 100 volts. It's like three dollars from eBay, and you can see that it needs a bit of a, a bit of a tidy up. Okay, um, the other thing I've done is all the battery packs. So to get the uh, to get these running in parallel. So I've, I've put parallel balance plugs from each of the opposite two cells. Okay, all right. So, so I've got five sets of balance plugs now coming out. Now the five sets, now uh, they've got about sort of uh, five wires each, but um, when you're wiring them up in series, the last wire of each one, or well, the first wire of the next one isn't really required. Okay, so you've actually got 20 wires on the BMS, starting from negative, going all the way through to 84 volts. So before you connect this up, just make sure that each of these steps is your 4.2 volt or 3.8 or whatever the batteries are when you get them. Okay, you don't want to have a, a bit of a step in here or else the BMS isn't going to work too well. This BMS has also got a, an over temperature as well. Um, which will work well when it's in a, a closed environment. Um, so, all right, so the beauty of the BMS is, okay, we can use this charger. It's a bulk charger. I've got a XLR plug, only two points are wired, okay. 
So basically you're feeding the plug here with 84 volts and the BMS does the rest. It actually balances each cell just like a normal RC charger but I mean um, to get an RC charger that does 20S is um, you know uh, I think I know one that does 14S and that's probably about it. So it's really hard to charge this many cells in one go and this is really the only way to do it. So um, have a look for that. It's an EMC 600. Now you can get smaller charges. This one will do one to two hours, between one and two hours for a full charge. Uh, the smaller charges, uh, 400, um, will will do, you know, maybe four hours or something like that. Okay, so um, so what else do I do? All right, so now what I've done is I've I've created some little platforms, which are made out of acrylic, drilled through, and used double-sided tape to stick these on and some big cable ties to connect the two together so it's actually sandwiched in the post now the beauty of that is um, that it keeps the center of gravity quite low and it's actually quite a stiff setup um, i have used some of this um, mastic in between now you're not probably not going to be able to find mastic because it's a, an aircraft material but um, you could probably use um, you know some thick double-sided tape or something like that to absorb a, a bit of the impact um, I've stuck this on with mastic. I've connected the BMS on top there, so we've always got some sort of clearance. Uh, look, the last thing I really need to do now is to to create a cover for this thing, um, something that will keep it dry when it starts raining, and something that will um, sort of hide the mess, I guess. Um, so that's what I'm working on now. So any ideas, you know, feel free to to let me know. But yeah, this thing goes really, really well. Far exceeded. Uh, my expectations so um, at 40 amp um, at 84 volts you know you, you're kind of pulling uh, three and a half to four kilowatts like I said I can later upgrade it and maybe get you know up to 10 kilowatts out of this motor no problem but um, this thing is so fast so fast I don't think um, you know you're really going to want to go much faster than that so um, Anyway, look, if there's any questions, please shoot them through. I'm happy to answer anything. Um, you know, just don't ask me to build you one because it's taken me a couple of months to get to this stage. Anyway, thanks for watching and um, catch you later. Okay, this is what the bike looks like now, fitted with the, um, the cover. I've just made this out of uh, some Corfu plastic material. Um, I have a single charge socket there. A switch just for the um, just for the voltage meter, so it will charge up to 83.3 volts.